go get Hello it. and welcome to CineQuest video. Today we're going to be talking about a new non exploitation film, Immaculate. I really like that phrase, non exploitation. Wow, <laughs> that's good stuff. <laughs> Well, is that... um, you know, the last Nun movie we talked about was The Nun 2, and I, I expressed my <laughs> my enjoyment of the movie, the movies that kind of explore the nunnery, mm -hmm. and um, there's more out there, like from the 70s specifically, that I haven't seen. Um, I So this is kind of a movie that was right up my alley to go and watch, I mean... Speaking of the seventies, um, it had just this was something that just quite, kind of tumbled through my head. You, when you guys, uh, you guys checked out, um, what was it called? The uh, with David Dal Most, Mostian, Mostian, uh, uh, Late the, Night with the Devil. Yeah. Have you seen the original film that was based on from the seventies? The I think no, it was called was Ghost Watch or something. Like it was a show called Ghost oh, Watch. Oh, oh, that one. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, it's on um, show. Like I only, Shutter, yeah. I only recently found that out, and I wanted, I, I need to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I have seen something like that. I honestly didn't even cross my mind that that would be, uh, something that it was based on. But yeah, I mean, I, I can see that for sure. That's what I, I found that out the other day. I was watching a streamer and he was just talking about things and he mentioned that and I was like, oh, fuck, awesome. Okay, that All explains right. like the whole, because it's a period piece, right, as well? Uh, this one? It. Or, or Ghost Watch? Yeah. No, no, no. Takes, um, uh, the Devil? Yeah, yeah. It takes place in the 70s. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, <clears throat> and, and it, has a, it has a very themed uh, 70s type of look to it. Um, just the way it, like just the way it's shot and the the costumes and everything. It's it's it very much is supposed to be mm -hmm. of the time, and it, I think it did a good job doing that. Sweet. Yeah, but um, you did, you saw Immaculate today? Yes, it did. I went to I check it, it out. I saw it like a day ago or two days ago or something. Yeah, su you, surprise! You beat me to it. Jeez. Yeah, I was. I, oh, son, I saw it Sunday, right? I saw it Sunday. Two days ago. Uh, um, okay. Nice I, I uh, Bryce. Uh, well, no, no, because I, I, I was gonna. I had mentioned to Bryce I was gonna watch it because I had mentioned the movies that were coming out during this particular weekend, mm -hmm. and Bryce surprisingly doesn't go to the movies too often. Yeah, uh, I, I didn't understand because like. You guys have have caught quite a few lately, and I was just like, God well, damn it. well, we've we've caught we've caught a few movies that appear to only have like, um, uh, I guess, I want to say minimized, but um, limited limited showings. That's oh, limited, is. right? Yeah, and, yeah. And initially, we saw Late Night with the Devil, um, on the Thursday it came out because at the local AMC. They were saying, where it was showing that it was only like two showings, and one of them was at nine o'clock on the dot, and then every showing after that was just at seven, one showing for the weekend. So and that's like, that's what that's, I came through with Blood and Honey too. Kind of pissed me off. Well, see, I haven't even seen any showings for that, so I got to take a look to see what's going on with that movie because was, we saw the first one. We yeah, got, I got to watch the second one. <laughs> and I mean, for all intents and purposes, it looks better. A fucking chainsaw on fire. Yeah, all right, I'll watch it. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> 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 i'll check that out yeah why the fuck not um i have i wanted to see that today but it was like i i got out uh of this one at about close to five or so and it mm. uh, again like it only had uh blood and honey 2 only had one showing every day at 7 p.m and i was like yeah what the fuck is this um, i hate that like it's so lame it's got you know. it's got to have that word of mouth thing, and then eventually, or unless it's just limited release temporarily, and then it has a wider release. Like the I next mean, week is it that? I like I understand that like you know the way indie films are generally you know billed and aired is you know it's on a much uh, more you know limited capacity. Smaller scale. Yeah. yeah, it's much smaller scale, but it's like what I'd never seen that before. Like I'm sure when we went to go watch the first one, it, like it had a few on there. No, like I thought it was a yeah, wide release. Yeah, and in fact, uh, Bryce and I saw a movie recently that only had one showing, or was one day that they were showing it. And again, just so happened to be in a time where we can catch it. Uh, it was stop motion. Um, oh, that, fuck, I wanted me. to see yeah. that. One. 
damn it. We saw that one in theaters. Um, yeah. From my understanding, it's on Shutter soon, but yeah. it um, it had limited release. Also, and I, as from my understanding, it was only like one day, well, just one day of showings. Uh, but again, we just so happened to catch it because we're in the area. So I, that's what I thought for uh, Late Night with the Devil. But unfortunately, like, I mean, I mean, fortunately, not unfortunately, uh, it did have a wider release. Like, in the, that weren't. Yeah. They didn't. I they mean, didn't have any like advanced tickets like movies would at the Cinemarks, yeah. but like the tickets were purchased for that particular nine o'clock showing. Like, mm-hmm. not but an hour later, <laughs> I was notified that it had like a wider release with more showings throughout the week. And the weekend, I was just like, and like now I'm over here trying to rush to get to this particular. Yeah, movie. we made it regardless. But I mean, it was still kind of a, a pain in the ass to get to. Uh, sure. Unlike Immaculate, which has a release and um when i went to watch it sunday there weren't hardly anybody in the theater but it was annoying because i just want to like give a little uh taste of my theater experience when i bought my tickets there was like maybe five people in the theater right and then i I sat on that first row like when you walk on at the entrance like the row that's just above the main section the bottom section yeah i like to get close but not too close and there was no one in that row, and there was no one like at least four or five rows up until you got to the very top. Uh-huh. When I sat in my seat, I was there pretty much to the whole, all the trailers and all that kind of stuff. Nobody was next to me. Like probably like two minutes before the movie was about to start, a whole family comes in and literally sits right next to me and takes up the row. I I skipped the seat. I was like, I'm not going to sit. Why would you pick Fuck the seat that's not off. <laughs> the whole theater? The whole idiots. theater. Is so open and free of uh, any sort of seats, but then you pick the seat right next to this person. Fucking Are you idiot. mad? Are you yeah. psycho? Like, so I skipped the seat. Mind you, they were talking a little bit, not too much, but like it, it wasn't enough to completely take me out of the movie. Yeah. Um, but there, there was a few moments where um, we had a few chuckles during the the movie because it seemed a little too over dramatic at certain parts. Um, I. I'm not sure if you had kind of caught that when you were watching the movie. There's a scene yeah. that I felt ran a little too long. Just just not but <coughs> seconds, seconds worth of like like time. They cool. could have just stopped that and just continued on with the, the movie to the ending. But anyways, uh Immaculate, Roland, uh, what did you think? So at first about I about this movie. At first I really um I didn't. I, I didn't. I kind of didn't like it uh, at first because, like, it's a very mm-hmm. s- like slow buildup, yeah. and I understand the reasoning for that. I just don't have the patience, you know. Yeah. Like, and like, it was just about things that I couldn't give less of a fuck about, you know. Like, the the Sydney Sweeney's character is like going off to Italy, and she's like, "Oh, I'm so happy," and everyone's like, "Why?" and she's like, "Eh." Because God, <laughs> you think and, like the uh, the the people at the the con the, the convent, right? That's what it is. The yeah. convent uh, are so cynical, you know. And, yes, and, uh, so... not 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 the the joyous, happy uh, uh, messengers of the good word. <laughs> that yeah, you would think well, you I mean, be, you know? the the normies or whatever were like, yeah, yeah. they were just like bitter people, uh, which I I I liked, and I kind of expected that. Uh, yeah. in the general sense of them like how they were described you know there was like two types of people the people with like psychological issues and then uh what was the other just what did the others say runaways 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 yeah thank you they were runaways yeah and um so like neither of those types of fucking personalities are you know like the kind that you would expect to have a fucking you know bubbly fucking fucking poppy like right. personality and shit you know they're all happy and whatever and it's like no give me the cigarette you know ah, yeah. all right crack the window like oh i didn't see you there taking a dump whatever nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah we were introduced to that one uh character and she just walks in on sydney swinney i was like is she pooing or peeing yeah because i would imagine like go her reaction I go. She had to be peeing, right? Because like that reaction. Yeah, she was. She... That, that that calm reaction 
would not be if she was doing the number two and like someone yeah. walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. Oh man, that you know what? Like that would. I didn't watch uh, Sydney Sweeney's SNL like thing, but that probably would have been a great scene for her to spoof. Just there, like, yeah. oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I love God. <laughs> we, all, we all, we all, we all. We all know taking a poo is a uh, vulnerable experience, you know, like peeing, you know, you can kind of get away with someone being right next to you. It's fine, you know, yeah, yeah. but if you're pooing, like you got to be like secluded and someone like walks it's on you. It's privacy, you, man. Get the fuck you, out of here. If somebody walks in on me, that poo is going right back up there. <laughs> well, I'll say it. I go, if someone walks in on you, you might as well just be masturbating too, because it's almost the same thing, you know? <laughs> so. All right. Yeah. Oh, well. um, I think, I think that lady's name I th- it was a uh, sister Mary. I want to say that's who that was. Uh, the friend that like that she just right, met right. That walked yeah. in her on her, which I really liked her character. She was fucking hilarious. Uh, what was she saying about that? Um, the other, the other uh, um, nun lady that was in charge of them, the younger one, uh, like who hated them. You know, she's like, oh, I guess I'm stuck with you guys. The when. Uh, yeah. Sister Cecilia um, first meets Mother Superior, and she tells her all this stuff. Oh, I'm so glad to have you here. You're such a blessing to us. Like God has brought us all this wonderment, wonderment, blah blah blah, or whatever. And uh, she's like, Ah, oh, sorry, I don't quite speak it's you know uh, Italian yet. And she looks at the other, you know, the other chick, and she's like, She said you're pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, oh, but it's also it's also like. She's just like angry and bitter and hot. I'm like, oh, this is perfect. This is like it's a, it's a dream woman. What is she doing here? Um, but uh, yeah, I was kind of so, wondering in this one. Oh no, yeah, what what Sister Mary had said. Like she was, what was the thing? She she she's like, I think the batteries on her vibrator were running low. Or something that's what like she that. said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, I just, I, I laughed. She was like, oh. <clears throat> yeah, she like whispers to her like, "Oh yeah, you know, she's probably dry as a fucking Sahara right now." <laughs> um, yeah, they're really funny, and like e- everything that happens to her character, that Sister Mary's character was interesting up until like she's you know killed off at the end, or you know, no she's spoilers, like, Roland, no spoilers. <laughs> oh, are we doing okay? All right. Well, yeah. well, 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 we'll give ourselves some time after the fact to talk about the going so, depth of the movie. So, okay, let me go back to my disinterest with the first parts of the movie, of course. But again, like, because the way this movie is portrayed is it's supposed to be like a pretty normal sort of place within reason. This right. this convent that she goes to um, is basically like hospice for other nuns, right? Yeah, yeah. And like, so the everyone else is working there is just there to help them like live out the last their last days and stuff and so she's going there and doing that and and it's it's meant to be well it's not meant to be like fucking crazy or interesting or anything like that it's like yep that's what's happening here okay cool oh yeah they're yeah, they're, up they're, and... they're 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 going to be caretakers basically right yeah. and uh sister cecilia sydney sweeney's character she's very happy to do that and they're you know everyone's just like why why and she's like i like it here what what fuck off the thing about this movie is it's really short it's like an hour and a half right it's not it's 89 movie. minutes 89 minutes okay uh, what I, I will say though that um the past two movies that regarding late night with the devil and this one like they're all like fairly short films yeah and i i, I will say though that is kind of hurting it a little bit um so? i've Yes, and I, I would say because like I feel like the story itself for Immaculate, not talking about the other one, uh, which we went in depth of uh, when we did the video on it, is that um, there was the story, ta- the way the story is l- laid out, like I feel like things get rushed at some point. And um, the, I guess the climax of the movie itself doesn't have the, doesn't hold the weight uh, that you would well i guess the movie is expecting to have on the audience uh regarding uh, sister cecilia and her uh situation that she's in uh regarding this immaculate well obviously it's called immaculate immaculate conception uh she's supposed to be birthing 
the savior. And 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 I would say like watching the trailer itself, it doesn't necessarily then uh well it doesn't it doesn't make entirely clear that it's it is are they being is she like uh conceiving the immaculate birth of the savior or an antichrist? Yeah. You know? like when you I first saw this, I actually thought they had implied that we're gonna be twins. And one of them was right. going to be possibly the Antichrist and the other was going to be the savior. And that like she was going to be pursued to like either kill them or have them birthed or what. I'm, I'm not sure. Right. Or maybe I was thinking of a completely different fucking movie, but I could have sworn like it was. It was well, well no, see, I, I think what you're thinking of, though, is the new Omen movie that's coming out, which is kind of the same thing. In yeah, a way. that's because where I got that, a little confused with it. Yeah. That I know, like uh, for a while there, I was kind of confused whether or not Immaculate and the First Omen were gonna like which was which because I wasn't exactly entirely sure because yeah. they both kind of have the same look to it, mm -hmm. and of course it's it's nunnery stuff again, mm -hmm. and um, the nunning, <laughs> the the year of the nuns, twenty twenty four. I so. I liked. I kind of liked that this this movie was only an hour and a half because uh, of the way, well, of because of the way they paced it, it, it was a very like slow kind of start and build up. Um, I think uh, like it kind of if it if it actually felt like it dragged to me in spots because mm -hmm. again like I was just disinterested in this. Like I was treating this more like a horror movie when it's it's more of a thriller kind of thing. I'd right say, uh like, you know. that that's that's the issue i'm also having with the movie itself is the the way the trailer makes the movie seem is that it's very like horrific and think like blasphemous and all this other kind of stuff to where it's like really taking the whole uh catholic religion and kind of like mm -hmm. putting it through the ringer and all that kind of stuff whenever we, even even like the um, none two had more uh blasphemy or like uh image imaging uh when it comes to, like upside down crosses and kind of stuff like that right yeah and this i didn't get that very much with this movie like this like no. you said it seems more of a thriller it, uh, type of film than it, it would be classified as a horror because just the way it's classified here on wikipedia i don't mm. know how it isn't classified on imdb but it's a american psychological horror film uh okay i i <laughs> I was expecting more horror. I don't feel like I got that. That's with this no. Movie. Um, the plot was that is very, not to say that, very, very simple. That is not to say that. It, that, that says that yeah, it's it's a very simple plot, and mm -hmm. I mean it kind of throws in a bit of conspiracy in there as well, which is also a situ scenario where um, I wish I, that the I, I wanted more of that. Yeah, narrative had been yeah. I wish the narrative had been like fleshed out a bit more when it came to that because. I felt um, since it rushed a bit towards the end, whenever there's like a reveal and all that stuff, as to actually what is going on. Mm -hmm. um, again, I didn't feel like the the weight of that of those consequences or what they were trying trying to do or uh, no, the situation like, she was in, uh, because it kind of just at some point it just ends, and I get I had no like uh, I wasn't satisfied with that. They made it seem to be like it was going to be these this like grand fucking like yeah. these massive consequences to to the things that are happening in this story, but like the way it's filmed and like the I guess the weight of the plot it seems more just like it was an indie film, you know. Like I got mm -hmm. from watching this because I don't think I've really I don't think I've seen a Sydney a Sydney Sweeney in anything like you you I mean I know you have. Um, let me just say this the first thing i have seen her in from my knowledge is madam webb <laughs> so, oh i haven't Jesus seen i haven't Christ. seen anything else she's in okay because like I oh i, I, I figured is, hasn't isn't she in the any of the she's not in any of the scream movies i don't think so no oh well fuck if i know then i don't know i would like i would have remembered those was, Right, yeah, that's why I like I I never asked you and I'd forgotten. I just assumed because like I was like, oh, she's a, she's like, um, she, for, she's uh, a supposed scream queen and all that kind of shit, which well, she that's, screams that's, in this one, and I was like, damn, all right, you know. Well, that's the thing is that I wanted to bring up also is that I feel like she's really 
trying really hard to make herself a kind of a staple in the horror movie genre because she is screaming her ass off in this movie a lot, yeah, a lot. Like, a lot. and like and it's it's really good though like just like it's no, not no, where it's a like good job doing that yeah like like for instance and like it's not a horror scream necessarily that it's like scene, ah, you know you know or you know right, when they're grabbing yeah. her face and shit she's yeah. giving look at that face she's giving it her all there you know and, and then, that's not even the craziest one no right? and then this scream here hold on let me bring it up there it is yeah. that shit was that, yeah. that, that was like a couple of minutes i was like damn that's, we're going i guess we're scene, doing this that's the scene i told you went on a little bit too long because yes. she kept on screaming and then she kept yeah. on and then you find out and on, you find out why and then you hear the things and <laughs> yeah and I yeah, I was thinking like, oh, are they really gonna do all of this? And I'm like, all right, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and, and that's why I I did think that part was was too long, but that was also sort of the culmination of the film by that point. And then also yeah. like, I think it possibly was meant to just sort of uh, drive home like the enormity of what what we're fucking watching happen in front of us you know like oh uh, yeah like, but, that's, right. but that's but that's but it I was feel... literally the end of the fucking movie right you know, but that's where i feel like it, it failed a little bit is that no? this this yeah this whole scene here like i know what's happening you mm -hmm. know and i mean we'll get into a little bit more details in just a bit but and i was kind of like, i didn't feel the Again, I was saying the weight of that particular, the consequence of what's happening right now. I know what's happening, and I was just kind of like, ex as as a person who's seen like a lot of these types of films and stuff, I go, I want to see how far they're willing to go. Mm -hmm. Um, when it came to this particular scene, because I knew it was happening, and I was like, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna um, execute this particular scene? Because it could be a big deal happens in this particular scene, right? <laughs> Yeah, uh, granted, yeah I didn't really think it was I didn't think it was gonna be the entire ending but it was uh which kind of like left me wanting a little bit more but uh, I I liked I liked how that ended though like myself I mean because like I was like are they yeah, gonna, yeah I know I know you're do more this? of an abrupt and, and yeah abrupt ending kind of guy and they did yeah yeah um, <laughs> and, I mean and and that, I, that sort of reminds me of this other uh idea that I've, that we've been bouncing around and I'll, I'll go into that i guess when we when we go into spoiler territory but i just i just wanted to mention something here that and and i i'm wondering if maybe aside from the plot the sim the simplicity of the plot uh it might have had to do with how it fucked with the uh um the 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 gravitas <laughs> the gravity of uh of what was going on in front of us in 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 mm -hmm. how like you just i think um and it just sort of occurred to me looking at this screen that it seems um i don't know if this makes any sense necessarily but like it jumps between what i think are like two different film film styles almost because uh -huh. like this right here this is like analog horror right so like this is a blair a, a classic what blair witch fucking like uh first person you know face view or whatever uh well, i mean and it jumped between this and then to like just like indie film kind of thing where it's like oh this person's going to like live her life and it's all focused on her and all of yeah. this drama and shit and um i enjoyed it a lot more when it went into this this sort of analogy type uh perspective kind of thing i liked seeing this this part in yeah. particular obviously but like there were other sections where um there was a scene where they were burying one of the nuns that recently passed away and they just fucking put the camera right on top of the coffin as they're carrying it through you know like you see that's true yeah, yeah and, and i was like that, yeah. that is fucking cool i like that you know but like it throws me off it's like why did you do that like what what the fuck was the point of that kind of thing and it's like mm -hmm. that's the sort of thing that i think you focus on in and again like blair witch project analog analog horror type movies where it's like all right we want you to see this from their view like okay why like oh it's just a cool mm -hmm. in that sense it was just a cool fucking like shot it didn't really have a purpose necessarily and it, and it the times that it would do that like it fucking like threw me off uh, mm -hmm. a bit 
Um, IMDb here, like you're right, it is billed only as a straight on horror. There's nothing else on there for that. And yeah. it's like it is a bit uh not deceiving, misleading. but it, it's, it's, misleading, it's misleading. Uh... Yeah, it's it's misleading. And um I'm I can only imagine that that was sort of depicted that way because of I guess the the plot itself like what's actually happening and what what we're supposed yeah. to be seeing like or like in the, what we're actually seeing in this scene for example or like right. fuck mm -hmm. I guess that's kind of horry you know but like well, it isn't I, well, really I, I would say really. like as far as like the just in general the movie itself um I I, I guess we'll just like the, give like overall kind of thought and rating of this movie and then we'll go into like a bit more spoilers uh, mm -hmm. some things i do want to talk about um i felt like sydney sweeney did a good job yeah. playing the nun and like uh really giving it her all to yeah. really yeah, she did. put herself in the the in favor favorable eyes of the horror community so because <laughs> i mean i don't i don't necessarily shouldn't know if she's done any horror movies as of late but i know like this was one of her like i guess a passion project for her Oh, okay. Uh, so, I mean, I think she did a good job with that. Uh, the story itself is a bit clunky, uh, not as well executed as I would have liked. Yeah. But um, I do like a lot of the effects. Uh, there were some clunky CGI, which we'll get into more detail about in just a bit. But overall, the effects themselves, the gore and all that kind of stuff, I did enjoy. So I would mm -hmm. say for me personally, out of like a a arbitrary five scale rating i would give it like a solid three even though i do have like issues with it uh but there's things i did like about it uh yeah. but yeah that's a solid three out of five for me for this one yeah okay okay um i i don't know what the hell else she's been in i just know that her her jokes on snl talk about how like she's either covered in blood screaming or like like boobies her boobs are out you know <laughs> and uh this was kind of a mix of both um there was a funny scene where uh i mean i say funny <laughs> funny for us she's like getting she's something happens and she's she's getting showered down by the mary mm -hmm. uh, mother yeah. superior and she's there like covering herself and i'm just like damn you shouldn't be squeezing that hard jesus christ <laughs> like <laughs> Cause like it's almost at one point like her like her boobs are like the size of her fucking head. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? You know, like I I don't want to be turned on by this. Stop that. No, no, yeah. we're not doing that. <laughs> Aside from that silliness, in that like she's being uh, trash talked by Mother Superior. You know, telling yeah, her, mm -hmm. oh, I'm you're ashamed, you're ashamed, and she just like her only response is God will never forgive you, and the fucking nun just. Boom! Just yeah. fucking hard arm slaps her. I was like, "Ooh, tell that bitch," you know, <laughs> like that's and and she didn't even have to fucking say it in Italian. She said it in English, your non-native language. You <laughs> understood that you suck, you know. Uh, I thought that was a really cool, like that that I, I that was a very like I guess I mean that whole that whole segment was very impactful. Very, that yeah. that scene was 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 a was um really good i again like it really picks up when this fucking movie picks up the pace even though like yeah, she it goes she, it, yeah. it she covers uh uh not to no, go into the, the spoilery ish uh it, it covers a nine month period uh you know like surprise yeah. the movie's name for the fucking birth birth of a kid um but once those trimesters start coming around like i think it it really sort of picks up the pace yeah. even though mm -hmm. like it's filmed as okay time has passed and she's like you know her, her her expressions and her like outlook become deader like with each fucking day kind of thing mm -hmm. and um so it's a strange contrast you know to like see her go from like oh i can't believe this is happening you know like i'm still uncertain to like straight on like horrified of what the fuck is going on horrified slash uh, horrified and uh, resigned to what's going on while everyone around her is just like going about their days and shit. And I, I really kind of liked, I, I kind of enjoyed seeing that contrast because it just, it seemed pretty fucked up, you know, yeah. like I was like, wow. Okay. Um, so I did enjoy this movie quite a bit um, going in. I didn't care for it, 
once the bun's in the oven, um, it uh, <laughs> it really starts to just kind of get wild. Uh, and then, yeah. you know, by the end of the movie, like, it becomes a straight up, like, uh, like revenge movie or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. like, and that was pretty cool. And then the fucking end, which I was like, once I saw that, I didn't, I don't, I don't know if there was going to be extras at the end of the credits or anything. I just yeah. saw that that screen went blank and the credits started running. I just stood up and left. I was like, nope, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that that's was nothing fun. else. Yeah, that was. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing else. I got up and I left, and there was like maybe four or five other people in the in the theater, and they yeah. were still sitting. And I was like, why? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> There's not going to be an extra for this Every, unless it's going to be like we've, you know, most of us two. have been conditioned to wait for an end credit scene at the, by this point. Yeah, and, and and it does happen sometimes, you know, not all the mm-hmm. time, but it does happen, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would have been pleasantly surprised, but um, yeah, but that would that, that would was, kind of like take away from the ending, you know, and how it had a know? very solid sense of finality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the sure. end, um, I liked I liked Sydney Sweeney, not her character, but her portrayal through this because uh-huh. like. Anytime I go through a movie where it's like I have mixed feelings about it, it's like, oh, I hate her. She's lame or boring or like stereotypical. And then it's like, oh shit, like this is getting fucking interesting or whatever. And like she shifts, she gradually will shift her her outlook or her personality into yeah, something she committed else. committed to this. That's, that's, the, that's the one thing I do like about it is that she did commit to this role. Like, mm-hmm. uh, and like, and she, well, like her character, when I can see the character having like, you know, well, rather, when the actor does um you know a commendable job of showing like not necessarily character growth but like just like uh uh um just like the change i guess mm-hmm. uh the shift in 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 the the tone of her personality right uh was very very um uh i i don't want to say obvious um uh, it was very apparent uh and i i kind of liked seeing mm-hmm. that uh because again like it was a contrast to everyone else around her with with a few exceptions of course you know uh her her friendo at the time that through this movie that she goes through uh everyone else around her is not completely nonplussed like they were just like yep we're we're just doing shit we're just chilling like yep you know this is normal when it's obviously fucking not um so i'd i'd give this movie um I'd say like a three point three point seven. Yeah. Yeah. Um you what would you recommend people go watch this in the theaters? I am on the fence with it. I would okay. say if you're, I would say if you like these types of movies in general, I would say yeah, go watch it. So if but there's if, if if you're a casual fan, I would say just like or not really too much into this these types of so I would agree with you. On films or uh, thing. I would just say stream, just stream it. It is a know. very specific interest that you would need to have to like want to like. All right, I should say it's in theaters. No, um, what? It, because okay, mentioning it like that reminds me of another thing that I didn't care for in this. Aside from that, like slow build, which again, like that's the way that this movie was filmed and like I guess per, uh, um, portrayed. Uh, was almost like uh, two different types of filming um, or film genres. But um, what annoyed me were the, un- until I guess the plot started to become super dark in its development, fa- in its in its um, progress, I-, I was really annoyed with all like the, the half-assed attempts at jump scares. Like all yeah. the little, ah, 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 like I hate yeah. that shit. It's so fucking cheesy. It's so goddamn like boring. All it is to me is it's a, it's a loud effect. Like all I hear is like boom, 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 and I I hate hearing that in the theaters because it's just like okay, cool. Now my ears are bleeding. What have we? What I, have well, you accomplished? Going off of that, I mean, I would say let's go into spoilers as far as like things that we did like about the movie. Um, mm-hmm. Otherwise, yeah, I I did enjoy. I enjoyed it quite yeah. a bit. Mm-hmm. I I'm gonna say like for first of all I'll say I like Sydney Sweeney's performance I think she did a good job and she really committed to this nun character and mm-hmm. she screamed her ass off right mm-hmm. she mm-hmm. could be a next scream queen uh, because she was hella auditioning for that role mm-hmm. on this movie <laughs> and I I, I think. Uh, um, 
I guess it was, I guess it's commendable for her to take on such a role like this. I mean, she's kind mm -hmm. of like a rising star, and yep. for her to kind of do like a genre movie like this uh, shows like uh, I guess someone who's a fan. <laughs> Or I would, I would hope. Of these types of movies, you know? Yeah, I would hope. I mean, uh, she, again, like all I know about her are the jokes that she made on the SNL clip that I've read. About. Right, I haven't even yeah. watched all that, where she's like, "Yep, I've got big boobs and I scream." I'm like, "Okay, what's the problem?" Sounds great to me. Like, what is the, what is there not to like? You know, apparently, people have trouble with that. However, that being said, yes, she has great big boobies. Super cool. Um. The way this fucking I, I told my brother uh, after after he uh, he met me after the movies, we went to we went to immediately to go go to get some groceries and stuff. Um, I, 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 I told him like a, I give him a quick synopsis of the movie and he's like, yeah, the movie's going to piss off a lot of people that like to go to church or whatever the churchy folks. And I was like, yeah, probably. But then they shouldn't be watching this to begin with. <laughs> Especially yeah, without the thing is, I, I think they go watch to, to begin with. Because, yeah, they'll hate watch it, and then they want to have something to complain about. Yeah, I, I think I, I think as much as as much imagery and like uh, they kind of go like very uh, devilish type of a uh, angle with like yeah. the nun, you know, in the well, like too. right here. Uh, she's, that's that's she's... That, that, well, well, that's a bit of a safer type of uh, nun movie because it's I mean it's PG thirteen one. And two, you're not getting as much gore and blood. Like, I mean, I know they try to do that at the end of like the Nun Two with all the, the wine blood or however it's fucking best and stuff like that. And to, to make it seem like there's like just buckets and buckets of blood. This one is more visceral. This you know? one, and it does not have a supernatural tone to it like a horror movie that you would expect, well, like no, with the Nun. No, yeah, there's no supernatural element technically to this movie, and that's that's I the mean, one yes. thing I did not like about it is because I was under the impression that I was going to get more supernatural. Mind you, I could not get supernatural, but again, like the, regarding the conspiracy angle or like the, the way she was, the baby was conceived. I wanted right, more background in that. Yeah. You know, that's not really explained. That's kind of like a, Oh yeah. We, we knocked you out. You drank all that wine. You dumb. Then like, I guess they like in vitro her or something like that. Right, but it's it's Not funny sure. to like find out what exactly they did with, because um, again, you see the spoilers scrolling across the screen here. the The baby that is inside of her has the DNA of Jesus Christ, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> you know, from when, one of uh, the nails that was hammered into him. Yeah, that was their house. holy relic. Uh, they you they know, and bone, right? Yeah, they took like a bone. Like, backwards that the, the guy blood used. Blood and bone. The DNA yeah. from the from the nail. Um, it's like fucking like a Dan <sighs> like like a non exploitation mixed with like a Dan Brown novel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I haven't oh. read a Dan Brown book in a while, but yeah. hey, I I enjoyed them. Uh, what was the <laughs> what was the last Dan Brown? No, never mind. Okay, so that was funny uh, when like the pastor uh, who brought her priest. over. Yeah. priest excuse me uh father sal um yeah mentioned she's like uh oh yeah i wasn't always into god you know uh, before i was uh was just for science you know i, was, uh, I studied biology and like yeah. that one mention of that turns into this huge fucking like yeah um <laughs> Uh, like lead or segue into the like the one of the prevailing fucking well no the main plot to how this whole shit fucking apparently goes through and he's like yeah they uh they didn't like what i was doing back at the church uh they thought uh my ideas were were too uh too dark and too blasphemy and uh you know but uh but they didn't understand what i was trying to do my yeah. vision you know, I was just like, oh God. That's, I laughed. that's when he I becomes laughed like dark. Like, well, that's what I'm saying is that that's when he becomes like dark and he's trying to like see like how grand his ideas are. And yeah. again, I didn't really buy it too much because the the most I see of the consequence of him doing whatever he's been doing are jars of like yeah. pieces. Right. And his little didn't, lab didn't survive. Yeah, and his little lab there. So and I don't, that's I don't... why I was curious as to what exactly they did differently in order to get her. Was it her DNA? That worked well and why was it her dna specifically that meshed well with their little uh, uh i don't know 
I don't think they explained that. Yeah, it's just it like they'd been trying before and like it failed with other people and with her it just didn't. Um the I I understand like I like in this I liked in this I liked in this image though, like how they dress her like the fucking painting fucking, of like Mary. Like Mary, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw this and I just laughed. I was like, Oh, she she is not happy. <laughs> yeah. It is so funny. And um um it is just sort of thought I thought about this that you were mentioning about uh, how like th- that, you know, father Sal talking about all this crazy shit didn't really seem to have like, um, like the amount of presence that you would expect for something yeah. so ridiculous. Um, I want to say the, the, the feeling, the sense that I got from that is that he, it sort of gives you, um, uh, like the impression of, uh, I think this, I've heard, you've, you've probably heard this phrase before, and I, I hope I'm using it right. The banality of evil. Yeah. It's just boring it. and dull and uninteresting and fucking horrifying. And like yeah. it's, it's execution and it's, 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 um, uh, it's development. What I, I, I kind of like that with him because it's not like he has a moment where he's like, oh, he goes all crazy eyes or anything like that. Yeah. No, like he's like everyone else. It's just very casual. Like, yeah, I tried to be a scientist and it didn't work. And instead, I did this fucking ridiculous goddamn thing where I was like, you know what? Let's try to bring Jesus back from the dead. Like <laughs> yeah. he, he'll fix all our shit. And he just like dead he doesn't deadpan it but like in the sense of again like a very low-key casual like yeah i'm just kind of doing this thing you know yeah say with 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 jesus and you know it'd be really cool if it worked out and, but and yeah. like sydney sweeney <laughs> does a very good job uh sorry let me S- no, 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 sydney sweeney ahead, does a great job of of like portraying that realization of how batshit crazy that fucking idea is yeah. where she's just like when she's explaining it to her she's like you're insane you're trying to play god like what the fuck is wrong with you you know like she's absolutely mm. fucking just freaked out and i i liked again like i liked seeing that contrast uh uh in in uh in the uh, in their presence i suppose like on mm. on in in it's just it's just like whoa okay that that is culty as fuck you know yeah. it's like mm-hmm. cool okay i wanted more of that like the same again but, like but that's exactly uh, what i was going to get at is that like i wanted more in depth of that because i know that seems like a very superficial type of- right yes the way they treated it uh, but but the fact is that like so so many were so many people and was this like the vatican also involved in this like were they like uh helping uh them get this like funding to like birth yeah. the savior and, and on top of that uh that one girl who was like very jealous of sydney sweeney's character like right. she says to her like that was supposed to be me so like she was aware of what's going on and she mm-hmm. kind of wanted that to happen so i'm like yeah she lost how, her how, fucking how, shit. how many people knew that this is what was going on initially but mm-hmm. even though they're portraying her as like a someone who is has a miracle inside of her because she's never been with a man before but right. some people still they were very explicit about that her hymen has remained you know. unbroken and untouched yeah. and i'm just like <laughs> so you checked out her coochie good for you fucking creeps <laughs> <laughs> uh, you fucking weirdos yeah dude. um yeah so that that's probably the main thing that left me wanting more was uh, more of that particular yeah. Uh, more, I guess, exposition or backstory on this whole. And, and um, I think we would have gotten it if, it if, again, like, and I've, if I'm, if I'm sort of describing this improperly, uh, I think we didn't get that because of the main way this this movie was filmed this is like, film, right? Like, and, yeah, the, the an indie film where it's like this is all focusing on Sister Cecilia. We're and getting like, we're only getting this her? particular version of this world here. Right. Yeah. Nothing we're beyond. only getting okay. what she yeah. sees and like yeah. um I I don't I don't care for like how that was sort of used. I just like the ridiculous contrast that it sort of creates between her and what the fuck is going on around her uh at the same, you know, you, you in know, that sense. Not now that you say that, I guess I'm kind of seeing that a little bit differently um, because 
then we're kind of like uh, experiencing it with her, like as the audience. Like we don't know much more yes. than she's knowing at that's, the time. That's thank you. That's yeah. why I, I I'm not real good with fucking indie films. In fact, I can't stand most of them because they're pretentious and up their own ass. For the most part, I'm just like I don't care about your fucking little life or whatever the fuck. Like why is this interesting? Um, yes, it is basically. It seems to me that you're 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 not an act. You're you're part of your passive part of the passive audience kind of thing where it's like you're literally yeah. only seeing you know what she sees yeah we're not and the this, overseer of the entire and, world of like the right we don't we're have all of this background information we're like oh bitch you don't know that's happening because they've been doing this for 20 years or some shit like yeah even that okay, it's only mentioned okay. like a little bit here and there yeah um so they keep us in the dark as well right um okay i can i can see um that, that kind of like frustrating absolutely it, it can be absolutely but that's uh i guess could give you or give me a different perspective on how i'm viewing this movie and how i mm -hmm. react yeah because like yeah. i i'm the same way like if i see a horror movie like i want the monsters and i want to know why like okay yeah what's yeah. what is this where did this come from how did that happen like i need details and you do not get any of that in this mm -hmm. uh you just get like scant fucking like references to itself where i mean like if you hadn't have been paying attention to uh father sal talking about his like biology bullshit uh, at all like it was one fucking line and then that just turns yeah. into this whole fucking thing where he's like oh yeah I'm, i all do right. science you know for for hmm. god <laughs> i i don't know that, um, that, no i i i would say like that's making more sense and i like, i can i can see like only like getting that perspective i don't want like, i mean uh, not knowing not knowing anything because... about the yeah not knowing anything about the director or like what their goals were filming this um mm -hmm. i don't want to necessarily give them too much credit <laughs> so that's where i, I kind of fall right. like ah right. this is what i think but also like i don't want to be like you know uh i've, I've read interviews Sweeney and the director and kind of they were like trying to take uh, more inspiration from like those 70s non-exploitation type of movies so like you don't get like a huge kind of world building mm -hmm. kind of thing like you're getting like a like a small perspective view whenever you're experiencing it as an audience so I mean I, I know because like I, I again I haven't seen all of them but like I think the 70s ones are have more of a make you more uncomfortable just because either the way it's shot and the way like uh it's acted and the story itself seems to be more uh more deliberate uh, deliberate in their way they're trying to shock the audience too right yeah uh, this one, one this one kind of doesn't i mean i i know um, but it, it seems like it attempted to do that but it didn't. yeah i mean there are parts in there where she's with uh when whenever the 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 red masked cultists show up you know those scenes i'm always yeah. like oh fuck what's going on here like but they're never really utilized a whole lot Explain, other than yeah. they're just sort of around and they're also like you know when someone pisses off or tries to fuck around with their plans like they they're the ones that will take them and like enforce you know punishments and all that kind of shit like i i did like uh, the gore, uh, the few moments in this that they use that because it was yeah. pretty dark. I was like, they cut that chick's tongue the fuck off. And I was like, yeah. ooh, I <laughs> like, I, I audibly in the movie when she gets her tongue snipped because I was thinking they were gonna like go off screen for that and she, they just real, real, real quick, real subtle, just slice. And I just got woo <laughs> <laughs> in the theater. Everyone yeah, was well, quiet. See, the thing, I saw that. Like you said, like, like you, you thought they were gonna like cut away, but like they, they literally just they're like, yeah. Yep. do this thing and like you see it you know and it was and, very like casual too you're just mm -hmm. like yep i got you got your tongue and she's yeah. there like ah! <laughs> <laughs> i i did laugh i uh, was no, like Woo, that's... that was uh, another of uh sydney sweeney's character uh where we also don't under no i wasn't sure if she like deliberately jumped off the roof or she was pushed off the roof I because think she was pushed. The, 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 see, the thing is is that like you don't really see you kind of see her like blurry in the background and then she falls right but i like that a lot i yeah but the thing is is that like you could tell it was a little cg mm -hmm. you could tell just a little bit but 
uh, there's a point where Sydney Sweeney like looks up at the the roof, the, mm -hmm. and you kind of assume that she may have seen. Right, yeah, I was expecting also, her to look up her. and like you see like somebody yeah. like peekaboo, I kind of, kind of like pull back. Like, yeah, oh, like shit, that, those those red those red uh hooded things they just come up and just like go off in the background. Yeah, really quick. right. Well, but when they turn that chick over and like her face is totally like right, yeah, she was like burned or something. I don't you know, know, and I like, guess just her eyes and her teeth. I go, I go. There's no way she got that from the fall, right? Like someone had to have done something else to her prior to her falling off because I don't think uh, whatever cobblestone like annihilates your face entirely. Just so you land my on reasoning, it. exactly. Yeah, my reasoning that uh, she was pushed was uh, kind of to me confirmed later when we find Sister Mary in in the catacombs because they cut off her tongue and I immediately assumed, oh, they're gonna let her like. I, I thought she was going to get introduced back into the, like the movie right. from there, you know, but just, she can't talk and she's going to be sad and like, no, nope, she's a problem she's though. Gone. Yeah. She's fucking gone. And she doesn't see her again until the end of the movie as a corpse. And I'm just like, Oh, <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I like when she gets to that down there, I was like, where the fuck is sister Mary going to like show up and try to help her or save her or some dumb shit. Nope. She's dead. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> but yeah, they that other girl too, because like, she tried to kill Cecilia and stuff like that, and she's a problem. So mm -hmm. they had to get rid of her because they can't have anything disrupt the birth of the, the miracle, Savior. The part miracle, two. baby. Um, Je Jesus too. Yeah, right. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> uh, I was I was trying to think of like the the fucking Beetlejuice joke. The juice is loose. The Jesus. Yeah. The Jesus back. No. <laughs> um. Uh. Um. I, I would say that the the priest, the uh, him like burning up and stuff. I point whenever he's like hovering over her and he's gonna perform that little like c section on her to like rip the baby on stuff like that i was i looked at him i was like face nolan yeah. batman <laughs> that's the first thing i could think yeah. of yeah like, because <laughs> like, some of his parts of his face and yeah shit. that's pretty funny uh, um how was i thinking about uh um it wasn't about the friends. It was uh, uh, the friends we made along the way. No. Um, oh, okay. I I did like at the end how because I was I was kind of annoyed watching the the build up to the end where it's mm -hmm. like uh, who's gonna fucking save her? Like who's gonna come out of here and be the hero? Yeah, or, I like, thought someone gonna was gonna save up? her. Yeah. Nope. Turns into a fucking Nobody. revenge movie, and it was awesome. Like she just yeah. flat out fuck I. I liked the parts of this movie where they do stuff that's like in the background, uh, you know, like out of focus, you know, like yeah. when they, they, when the, the sister suicided slash shoved herself off that, uh, building, you know, she's just very quick, you know, and it's, it's, it's out of focus. Uh, when she kill when, uh, Sydney Sweeney kills, um, mother superior, uh, Ross? yes. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. right before that happens, the doctor's there and he's like you know with the uh with the fucking sonogram or whatever uh trying to like look at look at her her uh her baby bump baby. and um yeah and she's like and he's like uh i'll be right back would you you know sister uh mother spirit do you want to look and the mother is like oh yeah i'd love to i'm so happy yeah yeah we're yeah. We're, we're, we're 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 we've essentially committed like the immaculate rape but yeah, this is great. And, yeah. You know, like I'm, I'm so fucking yeah. chipper, and like she's sitting there and s talking to Sister Cecilia, and you know, like you don't see like Sydney Sweeney's face. It's like out of focus and in the back. You just see the the baby uh, mound and um, like the baby mound. <laughs> Mother Superior, <laughs> Mother Superior looks away. And she, talking to her like just oh you're gonna be so proud and you're gonna be so great and you just see the fucking cross out of focus just yeah. slide off the back of that table and you it's not even the entire cross you only see the top section of it yeah and I fucking love that like I was like oh that like I laughed when she did that like and I was like oh she's gonna fucking die and boom she knocks her over and then she fucking like 
bludgeons her. She like fucking busts her eyes out, fucking crushes <laughs> her nose in, and all that. And see, I was like, like, I oh, that was good. They, they stayed on that 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 shot, you know, like you just see the thing going yes. in your face and yes. stuff like that. I go, and that's where this it is, jumped. This is that's where it jumped into that analog horror, where it's like, boom. Yeah. All right, let's see what she's doing. <laughs> Um, I really like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, when she goes after later, you know, she goes after, takes out the head, uh, uh, the cardinal. Same thing. She she, she fucking she chokes, chokes him with her a rosary. Fucking, uh... <laughs> that was yeah. cool. Yeah, her nun, her nun beads that 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 he gave her. To, yeah, yeah, for her confirmation. And it was so funny. Like he's just there smoking a cigarette, and I was like, oh, how's how is she going to kill him? How is she going to kill him? This is a scene that cannot like this whole thing is filmed to where, and I was hoping. I mean, the only thing I could think of off the top of my head as I was watching this was like, oh, she's going to push him off the balcony. But it's like, she's all yeah. like about to give birth. Like her legs are all fucked. Her feet are all fucked up. Like, oh, yeah, because they burned pain. her. Yeah, yeah they, brand, like, they branded her and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way. Please don't do that. You know, because I'm like trying to picture trying to be sneaky and shit, you know, with all that. Fun. I'm then, like, there's nah! no way. He's... <laughs> yeah. Instead, she just fucking garrotes him and shit. Like, oh, awesome like he's just there nonchalantly having a fucking cigarette you know and i'm like yes that's perfect eat shit but like i i would have kind of liked her <laughs> to just like knock him over the fucking ban like balcony that would have also been really cool yeah right. because i mean that would have but the she would have caused a lot more chaos in the convent you know because they were all yeah yeah you know, doing little, it would have been too much of a spectacle, like yeah. And like she yeah. was just basically low key, uh, trying to get out of there, yeah. trying to get out of there, but also like um, stopping like the entire yeah, taking out as many profession. people, who, taking yeah. out people who she knew were definitely involved in what was yeah, going on. The only yeah. one that was uh, involved that she didn't get to was the doctor, and uh, yeah, he he ran he away. Just, he yeah. ran the fuck away. He's like, "What did you do? Ah, you know, fuck out of here, loser." <laughs> yeah. Um. Um, I really, so, I really liked that, like, like revenge and like the way it was portrayed too was really cool because again, like there's, she's not like some ripped ass action star. She's not like, like in super shape. She's literally fucking like giving birth. Like she kills mother superior, walks into the hallway and her water breaks. And she's like, God damn it. Like that was so fucking funny. dude. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I laughed my ass off. I was yeah. like, Oh, this is great. Like it, it had, it had weird, really sharp, really fucking, really funny moments that I was just like, oh, I, I love this. Surprisingly, like, God yeah. damn it. Like, that's funny. Um, when she, you know, stops Father Sal, like, I, uh, you know, the first time sets his, locks him in the lab and then sets it on fire. Uh, and she's there, like, just lying on the ground, like, just trying to, like, recover and shit and i'm like okay she's gonna get a moment and then like now what you know she's gonna deal with the baby no like you look back at the door and you hear the fire extinguisher you know i i, just, <laughs> I laughed at that and she's like fuck you know like that was really funny to me you know yeah. and um uh but like i i, I think that was, that was a point like points in the movie where it seemed like it was self-aware a little bit you know we didn't take itself yeah, entirely too seriously yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know what i mean it seemed like yeah I I liked how I would she... say uh, I was gonna say like uh, talk about yeah. the very ending of the movie like uh oh shit hold on one, one, oh well like I just wanted second. to go this into the, the yeah. if if there was any part in there that I saw that was like you know I, I immediately predicted is when she takes the the nail and yeah, fucking and... uh stabs you know Father Sal like the second she goes down there and takes that damn thing I'm like oh she's gonna fucking gonna cut it. somebody yeah, sure. yeah yeah and then when he's there like in the end I was like oh yeah she hasn't taken out the nail yet she hasn't taken there it is and then poof, just <laughs> fucking killed by the know. nail of Christ yeah yeah I was really like <laughs> I like that was that was really easy to predict and a bit cheesy but also very appropriate like yeah. I thought, you know, like the way that whole thing was set, like he was fucking cutting her open. She's there lying on the ground. She's right near the exit, which of course, like he fucking like pulls her out down, back. And I'm like, that's yeah. what the fuck did you think was going to happen? But like, but the, the, that the was a very I, good placement. I liked how that was all. I would know. say the one thing that kind of a little bit is whenever she does get out, and something else over. was going to, yeah. And it's not, it's not over, right? 
but I felt like um, we going to entirely quote unquote escape, right? But then we get to right. the contractions and stuff like that. So like this scene here, this picture that we're looking at right now is it's her goes on for a while because she's trying to push, she's pushing the baby yeah. up. And, and I mean, I guess, I guess it would seem a little bit more realistic, but like just watching it on the screen, it did seem kind of, I, I think after like the fourth or fifth scream, like I just chuckled a little bit because she yeah. she goes harder when she screams. She's like screaming so much. And, and even the people next to me like chuckle a little bit because I mean, like you just see her giant face on the screen yeah. and just screaming her ass off, you know, and there's no music. No. It's just dead silent and it's, it's just her just screaming. Great. This is cool though that yeah i, I do like I, that i i agree um that it was too long a scene but the thing is i i i could totally see it as being intentional and i kind of appreciate that yeah yeah i started to laugh towards the end and i was like how far are they gonna take this and then you hear that you know i'm like oh <laughs> yeah I was, and I then was, she fucking takes out the umbilical cord and bites. With, like yeah, yeah she doesn't even blink she's just like Ank. and i'm like <laughs> Well, God you know, damn. just I'm talking about that, like in, that in my the- acting in my theater when she if she gets the umbilical cord, yeah. and you see her just kind of like ripping it off like this. Yeah, uh, the person on like up to the right of me, like probably like two rows down, I hear, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> I and really I was, love that. I was, I was like, like "This is new. fucking hilarious." I go, you know, I go, "Like you're obviously new to this genre, man," because like yeah. that's the same, but it's I could see how it would get a reaction out of. I I, just I, was I wanted to laugh so much and i was also like i was i was trying to do like uh trying to keep myself from having one of those uh was it uh uh next friday moments was it where like chris tucker and fucking ice cube are like damn that kind of shit well you know, she's there like, and no. she just like lets that go and then i'm no. like okay is this gonna end here is it gonna end well, here and the one the one thing i i was i did like you can hear the baby kind of making like yeah, yeah. it was making and I was like, like a, is it like a monster? Yeah, is it like, like some baby, kind of deformed baby. deformed baby or something? Right, yeah. Because I want to see the baby, but the thing is, I didn't necessarily need to see the baby like full on. Like you said in the background, she's walking. They do over, show it again, gets, yeah, out of focus. It, yeah, in the background. You see it in the floor. I really like the how background. they use that. I like that. What I would have liked just that one thing would have like taken it over the edge for me whenever she actually is gonna stomp the baby out i was like was she gonna like i was speculating for a bit i like, was she gonna step on his head and they're gonna just show her like foot like baby skull yeah maybe or she's getting to be i go can we see the baby just for like a split second before that rock just smashed the baby's head? no they just <laughs> she, before she goes fucking gallagher on they, it and she smashes just, it like a goddamn watermelon yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I wanted. I I liked how that whole thing was. If I though. if I would have done that, I, I, I actually it really morning, liked but, it that they only showed yeah. it slightly out of focus in the background, and then like again, the focus is completely on her. You know, like yeah. Um, because I was really afraid and worried that she was gonna raise the kid. I was like, oh god, she's gonna try to like raise it and like make it good and all that. Nope, she just fucking <laughs> like she's there like ah, ah, walks over, picks up that fucking rock, and then like. Again, like it does a good job here when it focuses on her because she looks distraught as fuck. She's like she screams one last time and then, yeah. fade, you know, not not a fade yeah. to black, fucking cut, cut instant. The <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the thing that I had wanted to mention earlier is that you and I have talked about, um, uh, you know, creating a like a, not necessarily a series, but like an award for like kids that need to die, like best movies oh, of babies was, that need to die. Uh, even, even- Evil children was what it is, and mind you, right? You know, and so like I was, uh, I was going, uh, I was going for a walk with my brother the other day, just, uh, just to like stretch my legs and shit, and just thinking to my, like for some reason that popped back into my head, and I was like, because I was looking through my my old, uh, like a notepad here, and just like looking through some just random crap that I've written down, and I that was on there, and and like I started thinking, I was like, what would be a good like way to describe that kind of award like how would you even go about this and the first thing that popped into my head which i think you know was the best thing was um in the uh episode three of star wars where uh 
Anakin Skywalker goes and kills all the babies at the Jedi Academy and like how it's turned into a theme where it's like it has his face and it just says fuck those kids you know um so like I was trying to think like what about uh the uh, Annie Skywalker award you know uh the uh, or or rather mm-hmm. it would be the uh ASFTK award that is to say the Annie An- Anakin Skywalker fuck those kids award just, hmm? It's got a nice, it's got a nice That's little strange. ring to it, you know. Uh, you know the FTK award, like, and then it's got it. You know, we could put it like, like his face, like, uh, like uh, looking kind of like, like a Han Solo when he's putting the carbonite or whatever. It's got like all, <laughs> but it's like it'll be, it'll be like a bronzed version of 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 right. Hayden Christensen's <laughs> face, <laughs> kind of thing there and. I don't know. I think I think it'd be fun. That's 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 what I want to. That that's my submission for that. The uh, fuck those kids award, and, and it's <laughs> presented by Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah, I, mean, I really like. Any... Like, no? I mean, talking about it now, like I'm just thinking about it. Like I do. It's like there's a lot more I'd like. Again, why I gave it like more of a five kind of a rating because there's parts that I did feel like it left me wanting more. Uh, the story itself didn't like, wasn't too much, but it right. had. Because the, for the what we would have preferred and what we were expecting and the way yeah. that the trailers fucking, Trailer. you know, um, put out this movie was that like, there was going to be a lot more going on than what there actually was, as opposed to right, like right, the yeah. indie film snapshot of her life kind of like, going on mm-hmm. around and all of this fucked up stuff sort of just like you know happening around her or rather um <sighs> the mundaneity of the evil that's going on around her is just yeah. like this is like normal day-to-day shit and she's the only one with the problem i don't have the problem you have the problem yeah. what's wrong with you you crazy hoe just <laughs> just pop the kid out and everything will be great you know what's what what's the big deal right um so yes i I'd, I'd, I'd have to say that like we both kind of walked into this with a the wrong set of expectations. You more than yeah. me. Um, yeah. Well, only because like I I I just watched it today and like talking with you, I can fucking like work out a couple of you know weird thoughts that I was that I was trying to make sense of here. And like your your explanation mm-hmm. sort of you sort of helped me just uh, figure out something that makes a little more sense because there's. It's not right, that I right, think yeah. this movie had wa- wasted potential or anything like that. It's just that it's it needs to be looked at uh, through a particular lens in this case. Right. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, I mean, who knows if there was like an end cap that we walked out on and like the kid's still alive or something. You're like, eh, you know, <laughs> kill me. That, that would have like, or... that <laughs> but that was been too funny. So <laughs> I don't know. Let let me, let me can I can I just uh give you some ideas here that I, I i was aware that there was a particular ending for this movie that i didn't know what was going to happen necessarily but people were saying that when i was talking with bryce about before we're going to watch this movie um he, he hasn't seen it uh, and he said he didn't really care to watch it but he just wanted me to tell him about it but sure. uh he had prior to me going to watch it he had mentioned that there was allegedly a scene in the end that was kind of shocking right uh-huh. and they kind of like alluded to that in some of the commercials for this for this movie and uh, we were speculating on how the baby was going to get killed, right? And one of the things was that I thought she was going to, like, as graphic as this would be, and I thought I'm going to go, is that she was going to stomp on the baby's head, cave in on itself. <laughs> and hold on. The other thing I said was, and this is probably the more ridiculous one uh, because of. Of course it would be um was the fact that like when the baby popped out and it was like a like a monster she wanted to suffocate it so she tried to shove it back inside of her and they got like a, then they got real graphic with it so like it was like the fact that the baby comes out you know like how it kind of annihilates a woman's like uh, genital area and stuff whenever yeah. the baby is birthed like right. she's trying to shove it back in there to kind of like suffocate it but like like its soft head was just like pushing it on itself and she just like shoving the thing back in there so that could just stop breathing and stuff because that that's just my ridiculous way of uh thinking about these stupid things and let bryce to say like 
See, that's why you should be writing a movie. I was like, <laughs> no, to no it's like a trauma film. I was just <laughs> thinking how, the... how to make yeah. that more ridiculous. <laughs> and it had just occurred to me. There's a thing where some babies that are born, uh, they straight up like get decapitated by the VJJ. Like they, the, oh, really? the, yeah, they, the, they, they, they pinch too hard. Mm -hmm. And then the doctors pull too hard and they, so like, imagine just, if she was like shoving it back up in there and like trying to log chop that fucker, you know, and just like, she like puts it up there and just like moves around and snap and like, just, yeah, you know, like Ozzy biting off the fucking fake bat's head or whatever. But for they're going to say like something about the fact that they, they pull on the head and like it's, it turns into a cone head. Cause I know like that's happened, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Cause it's so soft. They kind of just. Uh, it deforms yeah, yeah no yeah. um they've there there have been unfortunate tragedies where their the baby gets decapitated or it, its neck is broken um yeah there was a really fucked up instance of a baby getting like you know birth decapitated but the doctors tried to cover it up and so mm -hmm. like they took the baby away and then like like tried to like set the head back on it or something so like when the parents would come to that see is it not the, true like, that is not i'm, I'm not i i i i don't know if that was specifically what they did but they tried to play it off and trick them and say like you know when they come to see it i'm thinking to possibly like make the parents liable in that sense instead that, of them because they that, fucked that, up so hard like with the head kind of just like laying on the on the torso yeah. and stuff and if they move a little bit the head's gonna fall off and the parents are gonna be like what did i yeah dad? exactly dude that's that's i think stuff. it was that's because fucked, they oh, were dude. so fucking panicked at that point that they yeah. like what the fuck do they do and it's just gonna be the stupidest fucking thing you could think you of. know what that you know what that sounds like that sounds like so ridiculous that that happens not, not, and i'm not saying that it couldn't and it does a sad thing that that happens but um finding a bit of humor in that that the fact is that these particular uh physicians uh have had so many suits brought against them regarding negligence and like uh malpractice yeah. that this was Absolutely. the last straw so they put the baby's head on the fucking body so that the birds could be away with it. they can't afford those lawyer fees anymore yeah yeah because it's gotten too ridiculous at this point it's like fuck we're still paying off the last fuck. bitch that killed this kid no <laughs> not again <laughs> oh man oh that's my horrible. god wow but also that would have been hilarious. it's bad though like yeah, yeah. i mean i i'm yeah. saying this but with again, like a smile on my face but i i know like film, i mean that would be tragic that is trauma that is trauma film, film all, all very tragic yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very tragic. It is, story, you know. Yeah, right. and, and, and and like, like we're we're uh, adult enough to say, like, I mean, we know the difference between like a, a fake and I mean rea reality. That would be a tragic thing and very sad for parents to experience. But I mean, if I'm watching that in a movie, I mean, I already know the angle they're going, and that sounds as ridiculous yep. as it could possibly get. And I would be laughing. I mean, yeah, we're not baby's head pops up. We're not we're not trying to be offensive or insulting for the for the sake of that like it's i always think of it as you laugh at something and it takes power away from it kind of thing it's like a bad situation i mean you, granted there's a thin line between finding humor in something of being an asshole right um <laughs> but that's that's generally how i yeah. how i can go with yeah. that and uh and i mean you and i have made some pretty dark jokes off over over the years of all kinds uh quite a few with uh birth actually uh now that i think about it and so like i mean i i like I, i'm gonna say this so like uh, as much um like sad things that have happened in my life i still find jokes in those particular moments as well yeah whether it be like family members friends passing away and stuff like that like there's a joke in there somewhere and i wouldn't friends and family of mine if i yeah for instance you know um, yeah you gotta, you gotta laugh at sometimes no, no matter how tragic they know. can possibly be but i mean there are limits 
Of course, and there are exceptions to everything. Yeah, there are. Um, <clears throat> I mean, but I, I can think of the easiest one. I had an uncle pass away not too long ago, and we hated him. I was like, "Fuck this guy! I don't care about him at all. Like, he's a, you know trash person." So we go to the wake, and I'm I see my cousins and like other friends of the family I haven't seen in years. I'm like, "Dude, what's up? Hey, you know?" And they're like, "Yeah, what's?" I went and I was wearing a Hawaiian like a blue t- button up T-shirt with like pink flamingos on it and shit because it was hot outside. And I was like, I'm not going to put on a goddamn fucking suit or <laughs> this ain't formal. We're only going to be here for a little while. And even yeah. my mom was like, nah, it's just, you know, just be comfortable. We've got errands to run and shit after. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and so, like, I saw I saw family there. I didn't see a lot of time. I was like, hey, what's up, dudes? You know, well, that guy. just kind of that kind of just goes to show you the fleeting nature of like death and funerals and stuff like that, because mm-hmm. I mean, yes, that is sad and everything but i mean eventually life has to go on it does um ideally death death brings people no, together it's... so if you can if you can mm. find that then good for you i would hope enjoyable with some sort of caveats uh, regarding this movie but uh about immaculate Roman? i'm no i mean i just i really enjoyed it uh you know, it took me a little while uh, in there. If 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 I, the trailers had done a better job of explaining how uh, this this movie was uh, being, you know, being being, uh, I keep saying build, I keep saying portrayed. Uh, anyways, uh, it was being marketed. Being marketed uh, like we would have gone in there with yeah. a better set of expect, a more appropriate set of expectations. Right. And, but but this uh, just goes to show you that you shouldn't have too many expectations. Right. Anyways. Yeah, I mean it helps. Um, it helps. It helps. Yeah. But but it's so fucking difficult because again, we go in there and like, oh, none movie. All right, where's Satan hanging out? You know, like what's going on here? Where's the where's the cults and shit? You know, like it falls well, that... in it falls into those stereotypes. It has those fucking tropes in there so much that we're just you get some you of know. that uh with a, what they're being called the scariest movie of the year so far is the omen, <laughs> <laughs> the first omen. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Highly doubt it. Yeah. But we'll see. Like, I, I'm waiting for the movie. Uh, give me that sort of like, uh, this is... watching like The Exorcist for the yeah, first time. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, uh, just, just to, yeah, end on that. Like, you know, this is not no, a scary movie. It's not a horror movie. It's like psychological no. thriller. And, if you go into that expecting that, like you'll you'll be fine. You'll be you 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 will enjoy it. I'd say. I don't think it's necessary yeah. to see it in theaters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's not there's not a supernatural or paranormal. No, this movie like it's it's pretty straightforward and kind of I, I, sort of uh, realistic sense. You know. Yeah, it's I'm very grounded. Like, I'm, I'm assuming there's a there's For a the most Vatican. Part. There's a priest out there somewhere in the Vatican who's experimenting with DNA and found like some kind of dinosaur T Rex DNA. He's mixing yeah. it with the DNA of Jesus Christ. And right. Now, like, some kind of like, Dino Jurassic Jesus. Up. Yes. Dino Christ. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, it's perfect. <laughs> Jurassic Jesus. The rise of Dino Christ. The resurrection of Dino Christ. <laughs> All right. Resur- All resurrect. Right. Sounds good. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Um, that'll be it for us, and we'll see you next time yeah. on CineQuest Video. Peace. Later, haters.